You know, I remember in this time, this woman came to me in desperation, saying, Richard, you're my last resort. Imagine the pressure and the responsibility of somebody coming to you and, and just really hoping that you can help them. You see, she was having these panic attacks. She was having these anxiety attacks that would take over her mind, take over her body, where she would lose control. And it got so bad that she started going to these specialists and they started to prescribe her medicine and that started to numb her, disconnect her, and she didn't like the feeling of, of not feeling. She didn't like the feeling of not feeling and she felt like she was just like a zombie walking around, just kind of going through the motions, not really living. So she came to me and says, there has to be another way. And I said, of course, there's always another way. Let's, let's talk. And as we began to talk, she's telling me about this anxiety that comes up in her that just kind of takes over because she has this, this fear, not knowing where the heck it comes from, but this fear that overwhelms her, that lies to her, that enslaves her, that is taking her peace, taking her joy, that is ruining her quality of life. This thing called fear of death. You see, she had this fear of death. She felt like any time, any day could be her last day. So because of that, she'll get in her mind and she'll be thinking, well, what if uh, something happens now? What if today is the day? And she's always looking for what was going to take her out, what was going to take her life, what was going to end it. Imagine living that way in a constant sense of panic, a constant sense of waiting for doom to come. She was living in this, this prison between her ears in her own mind because of this stinking thinking, these lies, these, these limiting beliefs that she had, that she was focusing on, that she gave so much power to. And it began to ruin her life to the point where they were going to take away her kid. She was going to lose her job. Imagine that. So I bring her into my office. And we have one two-hour session. Look at the, the miraculous you know, thing about this. We have one two hour session and this is something that she's been, been dealing with for years. One two hour session with something that she's been struggling with, suffering in for years. She comes to me and for me, you know, I like to find the root, the real issue for me, the panic attack, the fear, all those things that are happening, those are not the real issues. Those are not the problems. So I don't focus on them. I start to ask, why are you feeling that? What's triggering it? When did this start? And as I began to ask these things, I began to realize that this fear of death goes way back even into her mother and her mother's mother. And it's a generational thing, a generational curse that's been on her family. And I began to reveal that for her and ask certain questions. And I helped her to change her belief. She really believed. She really believed with every fiber of her being that she was gonna die soon. And her brain doesn't know any difference, so when her brain really believes that, it starts to communicate to all of her nervous system, all of her body, to freak out. So that's why she was in constant trembling, constant sweating, constant couldn't think, because the, her body was being told that she can die anytime. So what I helped her to do is to deconstruct all these limiting beliefs, these lies that have been formed in her mind. And I helped her to see it, to begin to separate herself from it and begin to change those limiting beliefs into beliefs that were true. And this truth set her free. She began to realize like, wow, I don't need to feel this way. She got control of her own thinking. She got control of her own beliefs. She got control over her own, own life. That two hour that she got control over her own life. And that two hour session, everything changed for her she never dealt with that anxiety that panic attack at that level ever again and this is years later see it's a very powerful thing when you realize that most of the issues that we deal with whether in our health whether in our relationships whether in our career and business most of the, the problems are not really the problems it's a symptom of the real problem and if we get caught up on the symptoms of the problem we start to waste our time and energy into something that's not going to really fix it so many people live this way and it's very frustrating and they they feel like they're on this this treadmill you know working so hard and not really getting anywhere because they're trying to deal with the symptoms and that's not going to fix anything that doesn't create long-lasting change so i want to encourage you whatever thing that you're dealing with whether it's the anxiety, the fear, the guilt, the, the anger, these emotional things that we deal with. Understand that those are not the problems, they're coming from somewhere else. 
So I'm Richard Martinez. If you guys are interested in more information like this or mentorship or coaching from me, check out the link in the bio. If this is, you know, valuable information, comment. Let me know what you think. If you have questions, let me know what you think. If somebody that you know needs to hear this, tag them. Put this in your story. These kind of stories help people to realize that there is hope. And that's what we need more than ever right now. Hope.